this is Dr. Do again. This video is still on alphabetic list of problems on letter S. Today I'm going to talk about a uh, um, screening. I think if you follow up my previous videos on preventive, I talk about the preventive, like a cancer screening for adult. Today I'm going to talk about the screening from the embryonic stage, uh, screening the pregnant woman, um, um, the mother of expecting, and also uh, the newborn infant and then different age of childhood or uh, young adult, older adult and what kind of screening um, particularly for those are meaningful um, I'm not saying there's some screening not meaningful I mean meaningful to majority of patient people some of the special population need a special screening but I'm talking about the, the in general population so let's start from the pregnant woman screening uh, you probably if you are um, or if you have had children already you know the screening text test start from the uh, the day you know you're pregnant um, basically this is the screening for uh, some of the antibody titers make sure that you're immune for those special anti uh, viral infection uh, because they impose the severe risk to patient, uh, to the infant, to the embryo. Uh, so, and also um, uh, uh, some blood glucose level, for example, whether you have gestational diabetes or not, because they all affect the infant. So the, in terms of the viral uh, antibody titers, like rubella is one of the most important antibody uh, the physician need to know your titers, so your immunization status, whether you were immunized uh, with rubella or not. If not, the physician, you're not going to be immunized during the pregnancy, but uh, um, there are some other measures to prevent this rubella infection because rubella had a great risk for the embryonic development, for, particularly for the infant, uh, uh, the, uh, the heart disease. That's the, one of the risks. Uh, factor for the congenital heart disease. So this is uh, the and also the gestational diabetes. You probably know it. Um, give you a glucose to challenge to test your um, um, glucose level in your blood to diagnose whether you have uh, increased um, blood level, uh, blood glucose level during the pregnancy. So that because increase the risk for the. Uh, infant develop uh, later on diabetes or other metabolic problems at uh, all in terms of the organ development, diabetes, high sugar circulating to the infant, which is also very harmful. So that's why uh, important screening. And there's some other uh, screening for the infant development, like uh, our, uh, uh, fetal uh, protein, alpha fetal protein, for example, and uh, your hormone level and also some other um, markers to make sure that the uh, embryonic or placenta or everything develop either uh, in the normal state. So and also uh, screening whether there's a risk, particular particular for those uh, advanced age to uh, have a child. Uh, I think it's usually cut off with thirty five years old. Whether they decide whether to sampling from from the. Uh, embryonic or any other uh, tissue to, to diagnose the uh, possibility, see whether there's a risk for the disease. So this is about the, the screening and uh, um, during the pregnancy and also uh, image study to like the ultrasound, you probably had at least one of ultrasound to, uh, to see whether the, the development of the infant is in normal uh, in terms of uh, visible like limbs and uh, uh, the the uh, organs and the brain, so and the spinal uh, spines. So this is about uh, the uh, the screening during the pregnancy, and after the child is born, there's some screening for genetic disease like PKU. You already know it, uh, and also some other uh, screening to make sure the infant is is normal in terms of the eyes, the ears, and also to look at the eyes, to look at the ears, and also to uh, listen to the heart, to the lungs, and the pediatrician is on board during the uh, delivery, so you know that, or the neonatalist. And also, after that, along with the immunization, along with the monthly or every, uh, for, for, for example, one month, two weeks, one month, two months, and then six months, and etc., etc., four months, six months, etc., one year, 
uh, two years and uh, yearly. So there's some screening for the vision continuously to screen whether there's some um, development problem of the eyes and also the acuity and also the hearing. I think by the five, six years old, these are the probably at, at least one a year or uh, once every other year. So these are the exam the screening. I think your physician will let you know when you need to see to have this kind of screening. And also um, along with the immunization, of course, and then uh, by the teenager sclerosis, you know it usually. This can be done in the school or the physician or the nurse goes to school to, to screen it, or your physician will examine your child to see whether there's a uh, uh, sclerosis develop the bone development, the spine is in normal shape. So this is about the um, the screening and also uh, again for the young adult I think the preventive care is quite simple straightforward particularly before 40 years old, younger, younger than 40 years old basically just the, the vision and uh, uh, every probably every other year and the hearing so this is uh, and the immunization for the college student probably they, some of the immunization uh, they just follow up whether they need to reboost or booster dose or whether um, some other um, contagions may have the high uh, incidence rate in the college student and uh, also for start from the 40 years old or 50 years old that's another um, it's called a bimodule, the young child, less than two, 10 years old, and then the older than 50 years, there's another peak of screening follow majority of the cancer screening, I think. And um, you, I already talked about that during the preventive, actually. The cancer screening mainly is colonoscopy for the colon cancer. That's the, uh, the wild, widely accepted uh, screening for colon cancer every 10 years or uh, for those without risk, for those who had risk factors uh, in the family history or other uh, GI diseases probably five years or so depends on the individual. And uh, this is the, uh, and also the female cancer, cervical cancer, the pap smear, that's, and also the, uh, the mammogram. So these are the, the widely accepted and studies show decreased mortality and prevent cancer. Uh, so these are the known cancer screening. Other than that, like for example, the, the prostate cancer screening, it's really, there's no study show it's effective in terms of decreased mortality. But in patient's request, it can be done and depends on your physician and depends on your, for, of course, your family history, whether there's a risk or not risk. So this is basically the, uh, and in terms of, on top of that, the, the one of the most common uh, causes for mortality is cardiovascular disease associated with hyperlipidemia. Those are screening start, I think, 40 years old uh, to measure blood pressure yearly and also to check the uh, blood lipid unless you have premature um, family history of premature heart disease that can start early. So this is in general just covered from the uh, embryonic stage and uh, screening the uh, mother expecting and also screening the, the embryos uh, along to the late age. Uh, basically it's covered that uh, hopefully I did not miss anything but there are special uh, populations with a genetic disease or special ethnic race or special original can have different uh, screening but that depends on your your physician, your, your region, I think. Um, I'm going to stop here and hope it helps. And uh, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.